guys it is saturday morning and i thought i'd vlog this weekend um we had a pretty relaxing morning this morning just had some coffee started watching encanto which i've already watched once it's the cutest movie ever um made breakfast and then we got ready really quickly because we are going to a house showing no luck on houses so far you guys the market is insane so crazy but we're going to look at a house now so i'll bring you guys along to that and then we have some other plans but we're running a little bit late so i'll talk to you guys after the house showing get all these little rugrats oh my gosh cute are they all learning how to ski yeah oh my gosh you should go out there with them and he's got them jumping that is so cute okay we're on our way to go look at the house this is our fifth house we've put in offers on two of those houses and didn't get them which were bummers but everything happens for a reason um so yeah we're going to look at this house it's an older house definitely needs some work but for the most part we could kind of just move in and do projects as we go um so that's the hope anyways it's in a really cute area and yeah i'm excited to go look at it um are you excited yeah i am it's been a while since we've uh, seen a house we really liked i guess yeah i was thinking like after the new year more houses would come available but honestly i feel like there's been less since the beginning of the year um where they just are going so fast that you don't even like stand a chance to like put in an offer so even this one there's already multiple offers on we know um, from our agent and then we would basically have to make our offer today yeah there was supposed to be an open house today and tomorrow but they canceled the one for tomorrow because they've already received so many offers so as much as i haven't seen the house yet so maybe i won't even like it but if i love it i can't even get my hopes up anymore because it is insane out here you guys the market it's nuts but hopefully the house is cute so Let's go look at it. just got out of the showing and I liked certain parts of the house a lot but I think we're gonna pass on that one there are just a couple of things that we I don't know we just didn't love and there were things that we couldn't change about it so I think we're just gonna pass on it which is such a bummer and I'm not gonna lie I'm feeling a little defeated and like I'm over house hunting anyways we're gonna go on with our Saturday it's gonna be a good day um, we actually have a couple friends coming from Chicago they're gonna stay here for like 10 days they got an Airbnb and we wanted to make them a little like welcome basket so we're gonna pick up a couple of things like our favorite Minneapolis type um, things so first thing we're gonna get are these really good dumplings that we've gotten before um, you order them on Wednesdays and then you pick them up on Saturday uh, sorry Remy's right here um, but yeah you have to order them on Wednesday and then they only have like a small window on Saturday that you get to pick them up I don't know it's kind of fun and they're just really good and a super cute company so I'm gonna run in and grab those we're gonna put those in the little welcome basket and then we're gonna go to a little craft fair at a brewery that my cousin is in it's not a craft fair um, just kind of like a little market that she's in so we're gonna go there after um, but for now let's go run in and grab the dumplings the dumplings this is the company if you live in Minneapolis area um, just follow them on Instagram they will kind of like tell you when you can order and stuff but yeah they just come frozen this is what they look like in the back and then you just like cook them like a normal dumpling but they are so good and obviously the branding is adorable we have a little time to spare before we go to the market so we're actually gonna run in and grab a coffee at Dogwood Coffee, it's in East Minneapolis.
morning guys it is sunday now we had a really busy day yesterday um we obviously went all the places i showed you and then we got home and basically went over and saw our friends that got into town and then we were home pretty early but we were just like so busy yesterday that we planned to just kind of be at home for the rest of the weekend um i got to trader joe's this morning at opening it's 9 a.m so i'm gonna run in and grab some groceries that we need so that's what we're gonna do and then i'm gonna head home and probably clean and stuff it's like snowy today so it just kind of feels like a good day to be inside but yeah that's the plan i'm gonna head into trader joe's which i haven't been in for a while so i'm kind of excited so here we go i'm back home now i was gonna vlog when i was in there but if you guys have ever been to a trader joe's on a sunday it is just not the vibe to be vlogging in. So I'll just show you guys quickly what I got. I really ran for a few things because originally we were gonna have our friends over for dinner tonight and Remy woke up this morning and I'm pretty sure she's getting the cold that I had. So we just told them all that we think we should probably reschedule. I just don't wanna get anyone else sick. So uh, yeah, that's why I went, but it's fine. We'll just keep it for later or we'll make it tonight still but anyways i'll show you guys what i got i grabbed some black beans because i like to always have some in my pantry um this is david's favorite sparkling water right now um i don't know it's yeah it's sparkling mineral water i don't know he goes through these phases where he like researches certain things and right now mineral water is what he's looking at so i grabbed him some of that and then i grabbed some of these branches that don't look that cute right now but they're um flowering branches so eventually they'll look really pretty and all of my olive branches were dead so i needed to replace those and then basically we we're gonna make a pasta and like a salad and some bread and stuff for tonight so that's what the majority of the stuff is but i got this little bagged lettuce which we'll still eat obviously a thing of basil the basil is huge there like i feel like i should freeze some of it or something because i'll never use all of that um tomato paste this i just bought for the week because i always want broccolini but for some reason i can't find it everywhere so i saw it today so i just grabbed it and we'll figure out a meal to make it with but um yeah, we both really like this. Some avocados for, I think we're gonna make buffalo chicken wraps for lunch today, so I thought um, avocado would be good in that. I grabbed some frozen peas because Remy really likes peas. I do not, but she really likes them, so I grabbed those. TikTok 100% made me do this, um, but I've been seeing that people make I don't know people say they taste like Reese's peanut butter cups or something but it's basically dates and then you stuff them with um, peanut butter some put chocolate on it I think but I'm not a huge chocolate fan so I'll probably skip that part but you do that and then I think you either pop them in the refrigerator or the freezer and they're just supposed to be like a healthier snack so we're gonna try that today I don't know TikTok made me do it I grabbed this new pasta. I'm pretty sure it's a new one. I don't think I've ever seen it there before, but I just thought it looked good. And then I grabbed this roasted cauliflower and cheese ravioli because I actually thought Remy maybe would like this if I cut it up into like really small pieces. Um, so yeah, I grabbed that. And then David likes to make his own pasta sauce and these are his favorite tomatoes to use. So I grabbed two cans of those. And then the last two things are cheeses. Um, this is just like a Parmesan cheese. Always have to have that in my refrigerator. And then I've talked about this before, but it's the, um, it's like a black pepper cheese and it's just really good. Um, I've had it a couple of times now and I just like always buy it to have in our cheese drawer. So that is everything that I bought at Trader Joe's. Nothing too exciting, but I'm going to put all this stuff away and then I think I might actually make the dates. All right, the groceries are put away and I'm going to start making my peanut butter dates. Um, these ones are already pitted, so I think I just have to cut them open and then I'm going to stuff them with just this peanut butter. Nothing fancy. And like I said, I've seen people put chocolate chips on top, so um, I'm just not going to do that because 
neither David or I really like chocolate that much. So let's stuff the little dates. Actually, brief intermission. I was just about to start this and David asked me, or he read out loud like, I don't know, you were looking online and there's... Just this headline popped up. It said, chain sandwich tuna subs ranked worst of best. Oh, it's just tuna subs? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was like just subs in general. Oh no, it's just the Dang. Okay. just their tuna, which I get tuna once in a while, but it is kind of sketchy to get it out sometimes. Very sketchy. So it's top ten list. Let's see what okay. is number one being the worst. Number one's the best. Okay. So number ten is Subway's tuna. Sandwich. I literally. I'm just going to say, like, in general, Subway gets such a bad rap, not just for their tuna, but, like, I love Subway. I'm, like, one of the few people that do. Number nine, Publix. Mm, never had. Publix is a grocery <clears throat> store, and yeah. I don't, we don't even have them in there. I want to say people like their deli, though. I feel like I've seen people talk about it. Mm. Number eight, Jimmy John's. Mm. Don't I can imagine theirs comes from a bag. Yeah. Okay, number six, Jersey Mike's. Oh, we love Jersey I Mike's love Jersey here. Jersey Mike's it's like one of my favorite subs. Number five, Jimmy John's Club Tuna. How many tuna sandwiches do they have at Jimmy John's? Literally, get a John's. grip, Jimmy John's. <laughs> number four, Quiznos Tuna Melt. I literally didn't even know Quiznos still owns a thing. Yeah. Do you ever see them? Mm-mm. There was one in Milwaukee a long mm -hmm. time ago. We... Number three, Witch Witch's tuna salad. Never eat there. I've never eaten at a Witch Witch. Number two, Pop Belly. Oh yeah. I can see there's. Pop being Belly really is superior to all sub places. We love in the my opinion. chicken salad. The chicken uh, salad. The chicken salad sandwich. It's not like a salad. Oh, it's so good, you guys. I literally and dream about it. Let's see what number one is. What do you think it's gonna be? Can't even what are we think? Or what are we missing? Herberts and Gerberts is the only <laughs> other place I can think of. Oh, oh Firehouse. Firehouse subs. My friends um, love Firehouse subs. I've never ate there either. Maybe we gotta try it. Yeah. Have you ever ate there? I not that I can recall. <clears throat> I haven't ever. Uh, anyways, what uh, are your guys' so favorite sub places? I'm very passionate about it. Interesting uh, list. Yeah. When I I know that Subway is not the best but there's just something about it i feel like in my hometown it's a tiny tiny hometown um like we didn't even have stoplights the only restaurant basically we had was subway and dairy queen so i feel like because it's like what i grew up on i just have like a soft spot for it but you know what i get down with subway all right so these ones that i bought like i said are pitted so they just open up like this so Usually you have to take out the pit, but I'm just going to take some peanut butter, open it up, and stuff it. Okay, that's what it looks like, guys. You think chocolate chips would be good on this? I want one of them. I can't wait to try this frozen. Here are all the dates, and I feel like I remember someone doing um, sea salt on the top of there, so I'm just going to do like a really tiny amount of salt on top. Here they are. I'm going to stick mine in the freezer because I just feel like a frozen one would be really good. Um, so yeah, I'm going to stick these in the freezer and we'll maybe try them out later. Okay, this segment should be TikTok made me do this because now we're trying a hard-boiled egg. We're just going to split it because we don't want to eat a lot because we're going to have lunch in a little bit. And then people are putting hot sauce on the hard-boiled egg, which... We love both things. I'm sure so. we'll like it. I'm gonna use Frank's Red Hot and David's gonna use Tabasco. Tabasco guy. Okay, let's see. I don't know why this will be bad, but I'll try it. Yeah, I mean, it's really good because I love both things, so. <laughs> That's good. To be honest, I think I'd rather just have like salt and pepper though. I like putting mustard on my hard boiled mm -hmm. eggs, like brown mustard. Hmm. 
It's um, pretty good. I would eat it. Would you do it again? Yeah. Mm. I'm gonna pass. It just kind of tasted like two separate things. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it just tasted like a hard boiled egg and hot sauce. Uh, mine reminded me of, cause like we put Tabasco and ketchup all the time. And, like, Browns and eggs, like yeah. that's what mine reminded me of. Yeah, I don't know, not my fave. Okay, now Remy and I, Remy's sitting right here. She's having some blueberries, and I'm gonna fill these vases with the flowering branches that I got earlier at Trader Joe's. Uh, my vases this one's from Target. It's really old though, so I'm sure it's not available anymore This one back here is also from Target. It's newer. It's from the Studio McGee line It used to be blue, but I spray painted it to be more of a taupe color and then this little vase That's super cute is from Nice nice ceramics, which is based out of Minneapolis, but you can get them online if you are interested They're really cute um, this little circle one is from CB2, and then this really cute one is from Anthropology. So, I'm gonna go ahead and fill these all up, and like I said, I feel like these are gonna look a lot prettier in the next few days because they haven't flowered yet, but I like that because then they'll just last a little longer. So, I'm gonna go ahead and fill these up. Alright, here they are all filled up. I'm aware they do not look the greatest right now, obviously. They just look like sticks sticking out of uh, vases right now, but um, you can kind of see where they will start flowering and then I think they'll look really pretty. So, now I'm going to go put them all over my house. It is lunchtime and we are gonna make some buffalo chicken wraps. This is the brand of wraps we're using. They're garden uh, spinach and herb ones, which are pretty good, we've had them before. So I'm gonna make David and I one and I'll show you guys what I put on them. Okay, I'm gonna start with some lettuce and then some buffalo chicken. I'll show you guys the chicken I use, it's so good. Oh gosh. I'm going to put some shredded cheese, some green onion, and then a little bit of avocado. And then I'm gonna add a little bit more sauce. This is the one that we love. It's actually really spicy. So if you like spicy buffalo, definitely try this out. It's really good. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more of that on top. And then just add a little bit of ranch dressing on top of that. And that's it. And now I'll just roll it up, which is honestly the hardest part about a wrap, is to wrap it. The chicken that we love from Costco um, is by this brand. They are supposed to be like Chick-fil-A's like, I don't know. They're supposed to taste like Chick-fil-A chicken basically, but I don't know. They just seem like healthier chicken nuggets and the chicken feels like it's good chicken and the breading's like super thin. So you just don't feel as guilty eating them, but they're really good. I don't know if you can get them at like normal grocery stores, but I've just always seen them at Costco, but they are super good. Good morning guys. It is Monday morning. Sorry about yesterday. I kind of just like fell off with the recording and never really picked up my camera again. So I thought I'd bring you guys along on Monday as well. 
it is almost 11 i got ready kind of we had a really rough night last night remy is still not feeling the best so she was up at like 2 to like 3 30 and then up again at 5 so we're all a little bit tired today um so i threw my hair up in a bun and i'm getting my hair cut on wednesday thank god but my regrowth from losing hair after i had remy is real like these are all fine but there is like legit sideburns like i have sideburns i have hair back here that is ugly i'm like i know like my haircut's not gonna solve that because she can't make it grow but like oh my gosh my hair is so bad right now you guys i'm like very self-conscious about it so just don't look at my hair okay um but yeah it is monday i think remy is waking up from her nap right now um we have a couple errands to do it's valentine's day on what when is valentine's day one sec it's in exactly a week and i got most of the stuff for remy's valentine's gift and i also got basically everything i'm getting for david um i just thought maybe we could go to home goods and maybe either get like cards or like a basket or something to put both of their gifts in so i thought i'd bring you guys along for that um it's also my like best friend's birthday this week so i want to get her a couple things to add to her gift as well so i thought i'd bring you guys along there because don't we all love a little home goods haul and shop with me so i think i'm gonna go grab remy and probably feed her lunch before we go but that's our plan for monday i hope you guys all had a really good weekend ours was busy but also relaxing at the same time it was really nice to be home and um just be in minneapolis i feel like after like the trip that we had it just feels nice to be home and i like don't want to go anywhere for a while but anyways i'm blabbing so let's go get remy and then i'll probably check in with you guys when we're going to home goods And we're done um that was not a very good home goods run but that's just how it is sometimes sometimes i feel like i have to put stuff away because i find so much but then there's other times that there's just like nothing um but i did get some hangers remy's not happy about being in her car seat again but um yeah we just needed more hangers so i grabbed those from there they're velvet ones so they're just nice for hanging stuff and then the last thing i got um the back of my car looks like a toy factory because we just like bring toys with us almost like every time we leave the house and then they end up getting left in my car and it drives me nuts every time i look back there so i just grabbed a little basket to put like on the floor under her car seat just to like throw them all in to keep them contained because yeah it was just driving me nuts so i just grabbed that little basket and that is all i got nothing too exciting i felt like the candles were all the same i don't know like i said just some days aren't great but that's why you just got to keep going and like check every week i feel like but anyways we're gonna head home now and i think i'm gonna end the vlog here i'm not really sure how long it is and i don't want to like keep 
filming if it's already long so anyways we will see you guys in the next video um leave in the comments any tour any sort of video that you want to see from me or if there's certain videos you don't like i'm really an open book so um i just like to hear from you guys so anyways we will see you guys later i hope you guys have a great week bye